Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this lecture is I want to talk to you about some of the harder problems in your homework this week that deal with um, describing the sampling distribution of p hat or the sample proportion. All right, in this video it's question number 14. Okay, so it says describe a sampling distribution of p hat and it says assume the size of the population is 30,000 for whatever reason. Okay, and then this is what it says. We call or we sample 600 people um, or 600 individuals in the population and for whatever reason, this, the population proportion we know is um, 0 0.3, okay? Um, so like, just imagine that it's the, um, there's this town that has 30,000 people in it, and P, the population proportion, represents the proportion of people who have like um, green eyes, okay? Whatever. And we call 600 people. All right, choose the phrase that best describes the shape of the sampling distribution of P hat. So here's the thing. Um, Ultimately, what we're looking for is to show that p hat is uh, normal. And the reason it needs to be normal is the following reasons. The sample size, n, has to be less than 5% of the population size. Well, if we look at what 5% of the population size is, it's 1,500. Our sample size is less than that, so that works out. And then also, if you take 600, times um, p, 0 0.3, times 1 minus p, well, that's 126. That's greater than or equal to 10. So that's, that's what we want. Good. All right. What is the mean of the sampling distribution of p hat? Well, so here's the whole idea. Um, on average, when you perform um, a sampling, you have to be right on average. So on average, when we sample different, um, um, find different sample proportions um, from 600 people, u sub p hat has to be equal to whatever the population proportion is. Okay, so if this helps here, just remember u sub p hat is equal to whatever p is. Now there's a formula for this part here, determine the standard deviation. And if you, Look through the example here, you can see that it's this formula. It's square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. So for our problem, it's the square root of p, which is 0 0.3, times 1 minus p. Well, 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7, divided by n, which is 600. Now it's the square root of all of this. So that ends up getting me um, 0 0.019 when I round it to three decimal places. And I got it. Okay, great. Let's look at um, the next question here. Okay, um, this one's gonna involve um, asking us some probabilities now. So again, suppose a simple random sample of size 50 is obtained from a population whose size is um, 30,000, okay, and whose um, pro population proportion with the specific characteristic, we'll go with, I don't know, blue eye, brown eyes this time, okay, proportion of people in this population of brown eyes is 0 0.6 or 60%. All right, describe the sampling distribution. Well, we do see that the sample size is again less than the um, uh, less than five percent of the population, and let's check that fifty times p, which is 0 0.6, times one minus p, which is 0.4, that is greater than or equal to 10. So again, we see that it is going to be approximately normally distributed. All right, what is mu sub p hat? That's 0 0.60, it's whatever the um, population proportion is. Got that. All right, this one, round to six decimal places. Okay, finds the sigma p hat, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat. Well, remember the formula. It's the square root of p, which is 0 0.6 times 1 minus p, well, 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4, divided 
divided by n, okay, which is the sample size, 50. I'm going to close the parentheses. And this wants you to go out six decimal places. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. So it's 0 0.069282. 0 0.06. 0.069282. So that's about six decimal places. Okay, just putting this number in one, two, three, four, five, six into here. And we got it. All right, what is the probability of obtaining x is equal to 32 or more individuals with this characteristic? So it's asking you what is the probability that p hat is greater than 0 0.64? Okay, so here's what you want to do. How do we do this? Well, we know that um, p hat is normally distributed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my stat crunch. And we want to use the stat calculator normal. Okay. So the problem asked, uh, what is the probability that p hat is greater than 0 0.64? Well, the mean was 0 0.6. The standard deviation we found was 0 0.069282. And I want it to be greater than 0.64. So make sure you switch that to greater. And this is their answer. It's 0 0.28185. So let's go back. It says round to four decimal places. So I'm going to take this to four decimal places. Note that I'm going to have to change this 8 to a 9 with rounding. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it into here. I'm going to change this to a 9. And I got it. So the next one says, what is the probability of obtaining x is equal to 29 or fewer individuals with this characteristic? So what is the probability that p hat is less than 0 0.58? Well, I want to be less than 0.58, compute. This is my answer to four decimal places right here. And we got it. So as you can see here, um, once you figure out what the mean mu sub p hat and sigma p hat is, it's very easy to use the um, standard normal calculator here to solve this. All right, let me know if you have any questions.